Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am reporting to you today from a tent here in front of St Paul's Cathedral in that London. Well, actually I'm not, I'm in my warm little basket, but there's no thermal imaging camera built yet that can detect if Mr C is around or not. St Paul's has lived in the light of the Blitz for a long time now. And the monument that is Wren's has had a dignified place in the soul of the nation for a long time. But the current dean and chapter have taken that image and trodden on it like it were a piece of dirt that matters not one jot for them. Closing the building is a disaster, and the decision to shut these doors has simply served to illustrate how far the dean and his ilk have grown apart from the people once more. If ever there was a time for rebellion, in modern times it is now. Once again the need for a separatist movement that might give rise to a new order is called for. Once it was the call of Luther for the people's rights against the clericalism and privatisation of religion against the old Catholic order. And then Wesley railed against the disconnected high church attitude to the people's poverty and suffering. And today we need a new leader to stand squarely with the people and lead them against the dean and his cronies who have sided with the bankers and the establishment. Every one of them hand in hand, representing the darker side of that London, and indeed, of that England. The Church should embody the will of God and the nature of Jesus Christ. Instead, St. Paul's bars the people from its portals and feeds the people on its very doorstep with rejection and silence. Thank God! that in England today there are people who will stand up and speak out against this high-handed pomposity. We should not shrink in our duty to join with all good-hearted people, all kindly souls, and with them face the oppressors of our church. On the other hand, this is the Church of England, so it will be soon enough business as usual, serving a few who are powerful and keeping the riffraff out. You know, the poor, the unemployed, the criminal classes, the ill-educated, the prostitutes, the Samaritans, the possessed, and so on. See you soon. <laughs>